Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Scarlett with Scarlett's Little Crafty Corner. And today I've got another unbagging for you. And honestly, I am not real sure what it is. I know where it came from. I just don't know what it is. Because I ordered this from Amazon. And I ordered a bunch of canvases from Amazon. And I've not opened all of them yet. But I was curious because this one, I have no idea which one this is. Um, but we're fixing to find out together. So, let's see what this is. I've never gotten an Amazon canvas that came in a brown envelope. They usually are just in plastic, rolled up. But I've never had one in a envelope okay I know what it is now all right that's just odd that they put it in that okay so this is a poured glue and I gave four dollars and 99 cents for this if I can get it out of here all right Oh my goodness, what is going on? It's like every video I've done here lately, I have just been struggling. All right, so I seen this canvas and I was thinking about drills and chills. And I know I have got a lot of canvases lately that were Christmassy and a couple other um holidays but i didn't have any halloween and i seen this last year and thought about it and i was like nah but i went ahead and got it because it was on sale for 4.99 so this is a halloween jack-o-lantern with two black cats it's got some fall leaves down here and the trees are in the background I just thought this was a very cute canvas, and I think it would be a quick workup, especially if you enter the Drills and Chills events that they do. And I think there's another, I don't know, there, there's other, there's so many events going on, y'all. I, I can't even keep them all straight, so, um... I do know that somebody, if you are on Instagram, there is somebody who does have an event sheet, a spreadsheet on one of their, um, on one of the Instagrams. So I don't remember who it is. If I think about it and remember, I will put it in, uh, I'll put a link to their Instagram in the description box there. So anyway, poured glue. It is a 40 by 30 and it has got 21 colors and the DMC numbers are on the legend. So it has the thumbnail up at the top. It has the canvas number and the size. It has your legend on the top left, 21 colors, DMC numbered and Everything is a, a letter, so that is wonderful. I'd rather do numbers and letters than I had all them goofy symbols. Um, it also has the legend on the bottom right. It is very sticky, and I can see right off that it is they've gotten glue way over here. So normally, I usually put washi tape around the edges anyway, but this one, I'm going to have to take and bring it way out there. Okay, so let's look at the toolkit. It is just your regular green boat, pink pen, pink wax. No, nothing special about that. Alright, so. It has the canvas number on the bags. So you can separate your canvas and your, uh, your drills. And honestly, y'all, I was never one to do that. I've always kept my drills and my canvases together until 
this past couple weeks when I seen a video of someone who was talking about how you take one of those portfolios and you can put your canvases that you've not done yet. You know, a lot of people talk about, oh, we got to, you know, in order to flatten these out, we stick them up under our bed mattresses and all that. I have never done that. I just unroll them, spread them out, and go for it. Um, but some of them do get really wrinkled to where you do have to do something to get the wrinkles out. So, if you do not follow Diana Loves Colors... You need to go check her YouTube out. I will put a link to her YouTube channel in the descriptions because she come up with the idea to put your, instead of just filing this in a box or in a drawer somewhere and then putting this over in a drawer somewhere, you stick your, your unfinished canvases in the portfolio and that helps keep them straight. It helps flatten them out. Plus you can see. So when you go to, when you finish a canvas and you want to go find you a something, another canvas, you just go get your portfolio, flip through it like a book, pull the one out you want to do. There you go. So I'll leave a link to her channel in my subscription box. All right, so let's look. We have got some, now in the camera that kind of looks red, but in real life, it's kind of a burgundy. And then this is like a mauve, but it looks like a real dark purple. I don't know. Camera makes everything look different. So there's those two. Alright. And we've got some pinks and mobs and some greens and orange and yellows. And these are all just going to be, you know, autumn colors because, you know, it's a Halloween canvas. But yeah, I really thought that this would be a good one to grab while it was on sale for drills and chills. Because honestly, I do have a couple large canvases, but nothing that would be quick and, you know, easy to work. So that's why I grabbed this one. So again, I only get $4.99 for this, y'all. So let's bring you down. And we will look see at the drill field. Now I think it looks pretty good from what I see. There is quite a bit of confetti, but a lot of these canvases that are small like this, they're going to have a lot of confetti. I mean, they just are. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything bad, even the darker colors has light letters on them and then the light has the dark letters so i like it when they do that so have y'all done this one has anyone done this one let me know in the comments section but look you could take and either put a b's in the eyes and the nose and the mouth or you could put some glow in the dark same with the cat's eyes. You could put either some ABs or some glow in the dark or even some sparklers to make them shine and shimmer and stand out. Yeah. Y'all, I think this looks pretty good. What do y'all think about it? $4.99. Can't beat that. I don't think. All right, y'all. This is just another quickie. So, I hope everyone is having a great day. And I hope you are getting some diamond painting done. And until my next video, y'all, I will see y'all later. Bye, y'all.